Hey, what is up guys? So today I want to make uh, hopefully a quick video um, basically explaining uh, a question that I get asked a lot which is how I record my videos and I think I have a pretty good method of uh, doing it because I really uh, like to get a very small file size for good quality so um, I think that these are some pretty good uh, settings to use. Um, so the first thing um, for whenever I want to record my computer um, I want to use Dex DX Story um, with the exception of right now I'm using Camtasia because I actually want to uh, record my screen because uh, you know it, with DX Story you have to basically select a program rather than your whole screen but Camtasia is a good screen recorder if you want to use uh, if you want to use that DX Story is great as well and uh, basically uh, I'm just going to show you my settings. You can change all of this stuff to whatever you want. Um, just make sure that you get something with good write speed for this. If you have an external hard drive, you will get a lot better than this. This is like, this is terrible because my laptop sucks. But even this works fine for the videos that I make on the games that I play and I get really good quality. So, um, better write speed here is good, but it's it's not entirely necessary these are just settings you can change this is the one that really matters um, firstly you need the lagrith lossless codec there's other ones that you can use but I, this is the only one that I've used that doesn't cause any problems for me and um, it's it's just it's amazing quality and the file size is pretty good so <clears throat> What I do is basically just you, you just leave it how it is, except for I change this down to YV12, um, just because it makes the file size a little bit smaller and you can't really notice the difference in quality. This stuff I'll leave the same. I do 30 frames per second because YouTube can't handle anything more than 30 frames per second. So anymore, you'll just be making the file big for no reason. And um, AVI is important. And... Um, file output not direct show I don't even know how to do that I think that's to do with live streaming but I don't do that so um, these settings you can just change if you want synchronized video FPS if you want um, like basically when you use like fraps it basically makes whatever you're playing um, the the amount of frames that you're recording at if you don't want to do that if you want to like record at 30 frames per second and play at 60 frames per second you can do that with DX story so it saves you on file size, so I would recommend not clicking this, but you can if you want. Um, size, do 1280 by 720. There's not really any point to making it any bigger than that because, I mean, it, it'll look the same. And it'll just make the file bigger if you, if you go 1920 by 1080. This is the same. So just do this. And uh, that's all I change for these settings. And then... Uh, for the audio ones, you can, you know, set that up however you want, really. Um, you know, I have my external mic record to that, and then speakers and headphones to get the game sound. And I run both those on PCM, and I use 22,000 hertz, 16-bit stereo for this. And I don't think it really matters, but uh, this one I do use more, which is 44,000. It's not really, it doesn't really make any difference, but that's just what I use. And that's really it for the settings on DX Story. Um, all the other ones are pretty much just, you know, your preference, how, how you want to set it up. All right, now I don't know how helpful this next part's going to be if you have a different capture card, but this is how I get uh, game footage off of my, off of my Xbox. Um, so basically, uh, I have an HD PVR 2 and um, that comes with the program ArcSoft. So if, if you have a different program, a different capture card, it's going to look different. But you could still try and take some of this information for, um, for your capture card, basically. Because they, they do have similar settings. So if we go to Format Settings, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here that I don't really understand. And that's, you know, uh, probably... Uh, I just I, I just don't mess with this stuff for the most part because um, 
you know, it kind of, it's kind of crazy. So, um, I just keep the source, uh, resolution the same so that that way, wherever you're recording, it doesn't mess with it. Uh, I would recommend if yours has a setting for that, then you do that. This is really the only one I changed, uh, bit rate. I set it to 10,000 and then peak. I also set that to 10,000. So we're, we're always recording at 10,000 bit rate. Um, I don't really know what that means other than uh, the more bit rate, the more quality, but also the more file size. And when I record that, or when I render this down, I do take out, uh, I don't render it at that high of a bit rate. So I don't know if that actually matters, but this is just what I uh, have it set to. So, uh, and it looks, it looks good when I use this and the file size ends up being good. But usually the raw files are pretty big, but then when we render them down, uh, they look better. So, if you want to copy any of these uh, any of these stats, then you can. But uh, otherwise, that's uh, how I have that set up. All right, and then lastly, but certainly not least, is um, the rendering. I use Sony Vegas Pro 11. Um, it should look pretty much the same regardless of which Vegas you use. However, if you use a completely different program, I can't really help you. But um, you know, you should have similar settings if you're using like Final Cuts or maybe even, I, I don't even know what else there is out there, but um, they should all have these type of settings if they're decent. I mean, obviously, if you're rendering with like Windows Movie Maker, then don't do that because it's going to look really bad and you'll probably get big file sizes and stuff like that. So what I do um, basically is I have two render templates depending on uh, if I'm using a DX story video or um, or like an Xbox like a capture card video so um, they're pretty much the same though but I don't know if it matters both of them are mp4 so find this one with mp4 and then just edit one of them it doesn't really matter which one you pick so these are my DX story settings right here we do um, HD 720p, 1280x720, high profile, 30 frames per second. Um, I do none for that. I don't even know what that means. Uh, one aspect ratio is important. If you choose 1.3, it'll look. You'll probably get black bars. Um, I just leave that at two, and then bitrate. I set it to variable so that I can enter whatever I want, and then I change uh, the maximum and the average to six million. Um, I've tested around a lot. Six million seems to be the best. Uh, that's just what I use pretty much on everything. And then I use 44,000 on audio. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I project, I go to best and that's it. Um, that's what I use for DX story settings. Um, and yeah. And then for the Xbox settings, I don't know if they're any difference, but they're pretty much the same. Just uh, 1280, 720, high. 30 frames, one aspect ratio, 6 million for these, and everything else is pretty much the same. So that's what I use on all my videos, and uh, they come out pretty nice. Here's uh, an example of pretty much what you can expect the file size to look like if you're getting it from a capture card. This is a five, little over 5 minute long video, 222 megabytes, pretty fast to upload. Um, this is one using DX story, um, which is 10 minutes and 22 seconds long, 383. So usually the, the DX story are a little bit smaller, but they're, they're about the same, uh, ballpark. So both of those are definitely renderable and, you know, uploadable and, you know, it's not going to take forever. Usually the publishing does take a while. I don't know if that's YouTube faults or my faults, but, um, they usually do take a little bit longer to publish and it says something about you know if you use the different file type it might publish faster but in any case they upload pretty fast and the publishing is reasonable so I would say these are the settings that you should use these are what I use and uh, they should uh, work out pretty well if you do this so anyways thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully it helps if you have any questions I'll try my best to answer them in the comments and I will see you guys later